drugger Nikita kills a cop during a robbery of a drugstore and is imprisoned. She is given an injection in form that is lethal, but she wakes up in an interrogation room where the French intelligence officer Bob tells her of another alternative. While in the book she may be officially dead, she is given the chance to be an assassin. However, things get complicated when she is released from the government after her training and falls in love with a young man. Now she faces the issue of having two lives. With the film Columbiana coming out this weekend, produced by Luke Besson, I thought I'd take a look back on some of his earlier films. For those that don't know, Besson produced the Transporter films. <laughs> And directed the film The Professional with a young Natalie Portman. <laughs> the film Nikita isn't much different than your ordinary Luke Besson film. Most of the locations are beautiful, there's a love story at the heart of it. Oh, and there's a main character who probably keeps a gun under the bed. It's generally refreshing to see a female character living the double life and having trouble with it. While the film is certainly stylish, Besson never seems to go out of his way to make the film look cooler. Nikita is performing realistic tasks and has the aid of others as well. The actress Anne Parallard, forgive me if I'm saying that wrong, is quite good here, fully realizing her transformation of a young girl to a mature woman. The love triangle is handled quite well, as Nikita will always have feelings for Bob, as he is the man who transformed her for better and sometimes worse. One last thing, her lover Marco is professionally smart, aware that Nikita is not entirely honest about what she does. Overall, this French thriller is worth checking out for the genuine love story and the impressive set pieces, particularly one within a restaurant and the other in a hotel in Vienna. That's it for the movie rewind. Until next time. What? <laughs>